Standing near my house in the Bronx, this electronic store called Vic Mars. And in its window was this turntable. And this ugly fucking turntable pulled me to the window and I practically begged the guy, I said, please take that turntable out of the window. I just want you to plug it in because I want to turn it on. Security came, they kind of like blocked me in to make sure I wasn't going to run out the fucking store with the turntable. Put my wafer on it, I put my record on it, and I moved it. I had the torque that I needed. You know, some songs, they enter with the horn thing. Bang! Uh, so no more pig! It was bang! I was a messenger boy. I used to deliver packages from one place to another. I saved up $150 because it was $75 a piece. And damn it, Richie, when I got them fucking turntables, <laughs> now I was never coming out of my room. <laughs> never! The first ever. DJ to make the turntables an instrument. My name is Grandmaster Flash. The official adventures of the Grand Master Flash! 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 Presents the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Greatest Moments, 2007. Jay Z inducts Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. Don't push me, cause I'm close to. Uh, 30 years ago, the shot heard around the world was fired out of the South Bronx. It would change our musical and cultural landscape forever. This thing was called hip hop. Ladies and gentlemen, you're witnessing history, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. Every break dancer, every graffiti artist, every MC, every DJ, we here! of music a style, Mr. Grandmaster Flash. Track to scratch. Track to scratch. That's my to do an application of choice. It's your boy DJ Grandmaster Flash, first DJ to make the turntables an instrument. DJ Hero for me is a lot bigger than the game. It's the science. Hip hop was created by a DJ and we DJs went shopping for rock and roll. And we went shopping for funk, R&B, disco. Like, these are the things that help to make hip hop. I got enough felt to copy the size of an album. And I would cut around. When my mother wasn't looking, I would turn the iron up super hot, hit spray starch on it on both sides. So this flimsy piece of felt now turned into a wafer. And this became the buffer between the spinning platter and the vinyl. So now I had control. I had to put markings, beakers, on certain parts of the record. So I would take a, a grease pencil or a white crayon and mark it. I would count how many times it passed the tone off. So debonair, so fresh, so fly. S N double O P D O double G Y. I flash the cash and ransom my task. I holler at my people's ass. I walk past and smash. Don't step on toes. Might step on the rose. Chose to oppose. Design my own clothes.
I took it as a pleasure, you know, first of all, you know, from my own historical background, you know, and asking them to be part of this big, huge affair with some of these great artists, I think it's, I take it as an honor. It's like a jungle sometimes, it makes me wonder how I keep from going under. It's like a jungle sometimes, it makes me wonder how I keep from going under. I'm looking forward to doing it all. I mean, it just gives me a chance to spread the hip hop flavor, you know, to more people around the world. So it's, it's all good for me. Don't push me, call, I'm close to the edge. I never plan a set. That's one thing I don't do. I think I, I get a kind of a reading from people in the first five, five to ten minutes of where I could go. And lo, or a lot of times while I'm doing a sound check, I kind of ask questions with people. What you into? I'm more of a servant, you know. So I don't want to try to. I don't want to really design a set in advance. I don't think I want to do that ever. Dream lineup? Oh, that's a, that's a tough question. I mean, thinking quickly, maybe Jay Z, Black Eyed Peas, Nas, Tiesto, Paul Okufo, and Grandmaster Flash. Hip hop today has allowed me to travel the world. So if hip hop hadn't grown to the status, status that it's grown to, and to the uh, to the different types of hip hop that it has grown to. I might still just be in the Bronx. So it's giving me a vehicle to travel the world and to sit next to the lock and jam for about a couple of thousand people in a couple of hours. So I'm really happy that hip hop is growing the way it does. It's giving me a, a chance to make a living at something that I love doing. It's all cool. They say rap's change, they wanna know